Hello everybody, I am Harshita Saxena. I am a registered nurse. I work at Grand River Hospital uh, on an acute care medicine unit and the hospital is in Kitchener, Ontario. So I work in an adult um, acute care setting in a medicine floor. So we see anybody who is above 18 years of old. Um, people, patients come with lots of diseases. Um, so I make sure they're getting the right treatment uh, that's ordered by the doctor. Um, I, I advocate for my patients so if they have any questions uh, or any concerns, I mean, even if their family members have any concerns, I make sure that is communicated with the uh, entire healthcare team. So that is addressed. Um, and other than uh, making them feel well, I make sure um, they are feeling empowered and um, they are well educated about what's going on with them. So when they are discharged from the hospital, um, they are educated about what's, uh, what happened to them, what they got and how can we prevent that in the future. I was in grade 8 when I immigrated to Canada from India. Um, my grandma is a nurse, well a retired nurse, she's worked 30 plus years, so I've seen her work as a nurse um, in all sorts of settings in the hospital back home. Um, when I was in India, I knew I wanted to be in healthcare just because I have seen her work so hard, um, listen to all the patients' problems, um, give them the treatment that's been prescribed. So when I came to Canada, it was a little overwhelming um, because back home I knew the education process, how you get into universities after um, grade 12, and here it was all brand new new people, um, new friends, new culture. And I was in my teenagers, so it was pretty um, hard time to adjust in a new country. So when I came here, I was in, I did my high school in Cambridge. I was the first um, like kid in the family who went to university in Canada. My family went to universities in India. So we didn't know the process. Um, even though I know I wanted to go in healthcare, we were scared I won't get into any program. So I had backups for everything. I did business courses, I did computer science courses in high school, I took, I took I think, nutrition courses plus all my healthcare um, backups. I thought if I don't get into one program, I will have <laughs> prerequisites for every other program. Um, and I applied everywhere even though my heart was in healthcare. Um, and I got in everywhere, engineering. <laughs> Um, business, healthcare, and um, I chose nursing because I've seen my grandmother. My mom's also a nurse now. Um, she was a teacher back home. Uh, and nursing sounded like a really promising career. Nurses are well respected here. Um, and we're making a positive impact uh, in people's lives. So I think that um, other than like um, looking up to my family members, um, I also volunteered when I was in high school. Um, I did lots of jobs. I was a pharmacy tech. Um, because I wanted to see what healthcare is about here. I worked um, in a long-term care home for almost five years. I saw like nurses, doctors, pharmacy, dietitians everywhere there. I saw their role. I saw PSWs. Um, and then when I was in high school, I also worked in a chemistry lab to see what lab techs do. Ultimately, I knew I saw the role of nurses and I knew I wanted to do that. When I moved here, and, and as I mentioned, I was in grade 8. That's like the beginning of your teens. Um, in Canada, how it works is if people have gone in primary school, most of the students stay together. They go to the same high school, most of them, so they stick together. Here I was, um, left all my friends back home. Um, starting like schooling here, I didn't know the education process. Um, I used to wear a uniform in India. Here you wear whatever clothes, so it was like a complete different um, cultural shock, I would say. I went to an English school, like English um, language school, um, but here, even though I was good in English, but I guess the accent is different. Um, I did face a lot of bullying in high school. Um, and I think it's not just because, um, I think I was an immigrant, and then also people would make fun of the accent. Um, I wasn't fitting well because they didn't know me and I didn't know them. Uh, but 
overall, even though I faced all that bullying, it was, I never said anything bad to them. Um, I, I was focused. I know I need to do good in my career. I was always focused in my studies. So I took all those challenges and I built my steps, like a step, you know, one step at a time. So I would say explore career pathways, volunteer. Um, there are so many opportunities out there. If you Google, you will find something in your um, local communities. Um, and that's how you, that's how you will um, find the passion that you have. Um, we're all, I think we all have a purpose. We're all born for a purpose and you have to find that. Um, and it's you can find your purpose at 20 years old, 30 years old, I think age is not a limit. You can still do something good, keep exploring. And one advice I give is do not underestimate your abilities. Uh, we think we can achieve something, but you have to dream big and work hard for it. Work smart for it and you will achieve that. Just don't be scared and follow your dreams.